those rumors about North Korea's Kim Jong-un visiting Beijing, they were true. According to the Chinese government, he was there for three days meeting with President Xi Jinping. CBC Asia correspondent Sasha Petrosik is in Beijing this hour. He joins us now with more. So, Sasha, what do we know more about this visit? Well, when the announcement came, this was described as an unofficial visit, but it certainly had all the trappings of a state visit here. Uh, we had a, a banquet in the Great Hall of the People. We had handshaking in front of cameras. Uh, we had uh, uh, serene talks in the back rooms between the leader of China and Kim Jong-un, the reclusive leader of North Korea. Um, the only thing that was different here, and it was a major one, was the cloud of secrecy that actually they tried to throw over all of this. Uh, it was a really a throwback to a whole other era. He arrived on a train. Nobody would talk about who was on the train. It was a mystery. There were uh, people spotting uh, motorcades all over the city with a great deal of speculation. So this is really something that North Korean leaders have done in the past for uh, three generations now, and it continued. And, and Sasha, the, the secrecy is one thing, but talk to me about the significance of this trip. Well, aside from the fact that it looks like North Korea wants to improve relations with China, which have been frayed over North Korea's nuclear missile program, uh, the significance is that uh, Kim Jong-un apparently told the Chinese leader that he is going to go ahead with a meeting with Donald Trump, the U.S. president, that he will talk about denuclearization, that that is on the table, uh, and that, uh, that, that this is really what it looks like, which is a path toward peace, that he's willing to talk about peace and uh, go further than perhaps anybody anticipated just a few months ago. Okay, Sasha Petrosik in Beijing. Thanks.